Hi guys, so tonight we're going to be doing another bath bomb demo. So we're actually doing a double kind of night because I'm just feeling in a double kind of mood. Um, I'm really like really into my bubble baths lately so everything needs to bubble because that's just how I'm feeling lately. So we're going to be doing a the Whiskey Mermaid Mermaid Donut. Say that five times fast. Um, and we're also going to be doing the Pink Milk uh, bubble bar sample from Mad and Mac. Normally I don't demo my people together, but I just feel like in that kind of mood tonight. Oh, he flipped. Oh my god. Look at that, guys. That is too cool. It's like a tie-dye in my tub. So I haven't been on in a couple of days, I've been in a bad mood dealing with some stuff and um, I did do the Think Pink Bomb and Blue Fun Bath and I did not invite you guys to that one because I was just in a bad mood. But I have, this will be my third because the first I gave away to my sister, the second I demoed. I have a third one on order that I will demo. Um, the one that I demoed last night anyway was really crappy. The inside kind of tore away and like did its own thing and exploded in the corner by itself and then the rest kind of floated off into another direction and exploded by itself. So I'm kind of glad I didn't demo that for you guys. Um, but so I am ordering a mess load of fun. Fun is like my favorite product. First of all, it gives amazing bubble baths. Um, your bubbles don't last all that long, I'm going to be honest, but I don't know. I just like getting into a bubble bath, and I use it for shaving. So I use it a lot for shaving, and when I do shave, I use it to wash my whole body while I'm shaving because I'm one of those kind of people that likes to shave everywhere, except for my arms. I'm Italian, and if I shave my arms, like, I've done it a couple of times, and they come back, and I look like a woolly mammoth. It's really bad. But I'm still hoarding, I'm ordering another thing of gold fun, because I'm like hoarding them. <laughs> I I love the honey I wash the kids scent. I have the soap and I have a gold fun. I do not have the It's Raining Men shower gel yet, which is the honey I wash the kids scent. Um, the reason for it is I don't use the soap right now either. Because it's summer where I live, and it's pollen season, it's massive bees, and the other day I did use the Honey and Wash the Kids soap and I got attacked by bees and then had to come in and take a shower. So I'm telling myself, Macy, it'll still be there when it gets cooler out and the bees aren't out. You can wait. Not that I'll listen, but that's what I'm telling myself so far right now. There are other more important things that I need to get on my list. Um, I am get. I'm going, the Lush Kitchen this week is really crappy, but I do want to demo the Magic Bomb, just because, I don't know, it sounded interesting. And to clear up anything, I don't know, I, from what Lush Lot said, it had a parsley leaf in it. Which, I don't remember parsley leaves being ginormous, but I don't know. So, our water's turning a nice, like, dark blue color. This is just a really pretty bomb. So, guys, we are getting so close to my giveaway. So close. And as you know, I'm giving away a Lush Get Set in my favorite, my second favorite scent. My first favorite scent is Honey, I Wash the Kids. Duh. But there isn't a gift set geared towards that because I don't make bombs in that scent. 
So I'm giving away the Rose Jam gift set, which has the exclusive Rose Jam shower gel, which you can only get through the kitchen whenever they decide to make it or through this gift set. So I will be sending that out to one lucky winner. If you live in the UK area, it'll be through the UK site. If you live in the US area, it'll be through the US site. Either or. Um, truthfully, you only save a couple bucks by ordering it through the UK. And I don't know. I have never done the shipping through the UK to any other address but my own. So I don't know if they charge you more depending on what part of the US you live in. So... I would have to check that out when we have our lucky winner. So it may, I don't know if they make it in the UK. I'll have to check that out. I don't even know if they have that gift set in the UK, but they definitely have it in the US because I just bought it for my sister. And I bought that Twilight gift set for her too, because I don't know. I bought her the things that I kind of wanted. No, she likes Twilight. I don't like Twilight. That's just a my preference type of thing. I'm not huge on lavender. She's very big on lavender. She loves lavender. I don't know. We have different scents. I like sweet scents. And like buttery caramel scents. I love the smell of caramel. Oh. You remember those, um, what are they called? Sugar daddies? Who sent me one of those? I want to say it was in the Madame Mag box and my daughter wanted it and before I would give it to her I had to like sniff it. I know, isn't that weird? I opened it up and like I sniffed it just because I love the smell of caramel. I love Werther's caramels even though they're like not real caramel, they're hard candies. I don't know. They're more sugar than they are caramel. But if you've ever had real homemade caramels, they are to die for. Another thing that I really want is fudge. I haven't had fudge in like forever, but I can't find anybody who makes fudge and I want like walnut fudge. When you buy fudge at the store, it's either peanut butter or like dark chocolate. No, I want like fudge with like strawberry jellies in it and walnuts and the good kind of fudge, the homemade fudge. Ooh, I think we split in half. <laughs> The donut is not a donut anymore. <laughs> Ooh, it's got yellow in it. See the yellow? I don't know. I've just been in a bad mood lately. I mean, landlord of the current place that we're living in knows that we're moving and she's like being like dumb I'm not gonna like get into all the real the like realness of what's going on because that's like none of anybody's business but they're just being dumb and I've also heard from other people that have lived here that when you like try to leave then all of a sudden you get like a bill in the mail for like six thousand dollars randomly because they just want to make money because they're slumlords which is why we're moving like um we're actually downsizing which i know most people don't do i really don't want to but they are like renting to all like hud people and I'm tired of living between like druggies and I don't know. I just, there's nothing wrong with people that are on like HUD and welfare. It's just like, that's, I'm just saying that they're all, the whole complex is turning into HUD. So she was trying to get us out of here anyway because there's only like me and two other people which also received like a notice about like just random crap that we've done since we moved here like five years ago that she was like bitching about just because they get like a bigger tax break if you rent to only HUD people 
So they're trying to actually sell this place to somebody and they want to sell it as like an all HUD place because I guess more people would be interested in buying it if it was only HUD. Oh, and we are done. We've been done. I'm just sitting here talking and you all are like, Macy, that bomb is gone. What the hell? So now this is the pink milk bubble bar by Mad and Mac and I have held on to this for a while because it so, smells like strawberry Nesquik, like to the tea, strawberry Nesquik. And I was in love with it. Oh my god. I'm in love with all her products, but I think my two favorites, if I had to pick, like, this would be my third, but my two top favorites from her would be Sweet Tooth Bath Bomb, which I would use in every, like, available product if she made, like, sprays and I would buy it. And the other one would be that lemon one, which I haven't done yet because it smells exactly like lemon meringue it's just uh, also like lemon pound cake actually it smells more like lemon pound cake it does not want to come out of here with my one hand it's really gonna give me a pain in the ass time all right i gotta set you down guys i don't i'm not on my tablet so i can't pause you so i'm sorry i gotta sit you down though really stuck on here. <laughs> dun dun dun. We got her out. Alright, now let's turn on our water. I'm actually going to put some water in there. I put this in a small ass strainer and I'm not sure why I did that. I used this last night when I took my fun bubble bath because I just take like a little medallion size and that's what I use to like shave or do my bubble bath or whatever. Which is probably why I'm not getting like huge amounts of bubbles because I'm not going to use like half of a fun tube. But I use it to shave and for $5 I get a lot out of it. So for me it's definitely better than shaving gel. I mean, the shaving gel that I was using was like three or four bucks, and it did absolutely nothing for my skin. Like, it makes you feel silky while you're shaving, and then afterwards, you're like, what happened? And you have all that razor stubble. And I noticed since I started exclusively using fun, I don't have razor stubble anymore. I have very dark hair. So, yeah, in my... You guys see me. That's a balayage. My hair is not that natural color. <laughs> My hair is a very dark Italian hair. So when I shave my legs, because I'm so white, because my dad, well, my grandmother was uh, French Canadian. So they're very white. So I have very white skin and then dark, dark hair. So when I like shave my legs, you would see like all the like, I don't know, like black dots from where the hair was shaved. I don't get that anymore since I started using fun. Major bonus points for Lush. So I will be a fun product buyer for the rest of my life. Because I have tried everything to not get that. Alright, I'm just going to dump the last two pieces in. Do -do -do. All our rainbow is down there. So last night when I did the pink bath bomb and then I did, look at the build up just from a sample of one of her bubble bars. I would be interested to see what Whiskey Mermaid would put out for a bubble bar if she ever decided to do one. Cause I don't think she's ever done one before. She does like whipped soaps and scrubs and stuff like that. But some of her like, that dark water scent was amazing. So I'd be really curious to see what, to be one of the first users of a bubble bar if she put it out. Oh my 
BTW, that dark waters bomb, which I did not say because I didn't realize it until I got in the tub and like picked all the water up with my hand, had an amazing amount of luster. All right, so we're like overflowing our tub with bubbles. Oh, so right now, and this is our watercolor. Oh, focus. You're not gonna focus. It's not gonna focus. What the heck? Oh, I left the cold water on. I was like, what the heck? It's like a dark blue. It's like a nice dark blue. It smells so good. Um, I can't describe it to you, but it's got like some floral citrusy scents and then because of that pink milk, it's sweet. So it, this is an amazing combination. I would definitely do this again. Oh my God. Could you imagine if the scent was in a bath bomb? I would buy like 600 of them. So I am going to Lush later this month. Yeah. And... <laughs> I picked up some yoga bombs and I think I'm going to pick up some old Think Pink bombs or in the US they're just called pink but the old ones and I want to do a giveaway called the oldies but goodies and I'm going to give away things that are leaving so you can try them before they leave so I'm going to buy a bunch of them. I haven't, I want to do like one more item because I want to send, I want to do, it's going to be like a massive giveaway. Like I want to give it away, not like a massive, like the person's going to get a bunch of stuff, but massive isn't, I want to give them away to multiple people. So, um, but I want to include one other item so each person gets like three items. But I'm not sure what that item would be. Oh, I could do the needles and pine shower jelly. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll snatch that up before that leaves. That sounds like a good idea, Maisie. Go you. Uh, oh, that did not just do that. So this just happened. <laughs> this will come out though. I touched that colored foam, which was all like in bed coloring when I dug my hand in the water. See, you can see it on my fingers. So, and then I wiped my hand on there. Or maybe that was when I put the bomb in. I don't know. It'll, either way, it'll come out. I have faith. I have faith. Anyway, so I'm going to jump into this tub, or I'm just going to keep talking to you guys, or you're going to just stare at my bathtub while the water gets cold, and then I'm not going to be able to take this bath, because it's really freezing. So I'm going to jump into this tub before that happens. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Pick up these two products and do them together. I know that sounds horrible for me to say, because they're two different companies, but this smells amazing. Um... I'm gonna let you guys go. I will be on later in this week. Hopefully we get to that number because we are so close and I mean so close. Um, so hopefully we get there and I can give away that set. Remember if you are already subscribed and you have not entered yourself, you need to go on my Instagram, the real mom three, and you need to find my giveaway photo. You need to post that and then you need to comment on my original photo when. Yes, I do see whether you guys post them or not, but the thing is, is that I want to go into one location and see everybody that is entered because that makes it easier on me when I randomly pick a winner. You know what I'm saying? Instead of me going through 75, you know, notifications to see everybody that posted it. Um... I'll either have my kids pick a winner or, yeah, because I'm the real mom, I'm going to have my kids pick a winner. I was going to say I was going to do a random.org generator, but I think my kids picking a winner would be better because they don't know who any of you are. So, it's not going to be like, I don't know, I don't know what the word is, you know, it's not going to be 
rigged because they don't know who any of you are. So, but make sure you do that, and I will see all of you guys later. And make sure that you hit that drop box down below and go to Whiskey Mermaid, go shopping, go to Madame Mac, go shopping, go to Sense by Stephanie B, which is another one of my favorites, go shopping. And who was the other person that I was ordering from? I don't remember. I was going to put out an order to somebody else and I don't remember. I don't know. My mind is spinning right now because I need to have in this tub. We'll talk to all of you guys later.